Hello there, Lego lovers. This is Luki's Lego Design Houses. And this is my first Lego house design. And I have called it the sorority house because, well, there are only women in the sorority house. And um, we're all very happy here because we're all studying to get our master's degree. That's right. And we needed a house that was big enough to hold all of us, sorority sisters. So this house has over 2,000 pieces. And um, I really loved working on this house. I spent about two months doing this house, little by little, every day. I used uh, my friend's Lego sets. I have about five sets, plus a couple of small ones. And I used the pieces of my five Lego sets to make this house. All, almost all the pieces are in this house. and. Unfortunately, I didn't have more pieces because I would have made it a little bit bigger and I will show you what I mean. But for now, I'm going to show you the front part of the house. It is a two-story house. This is the second floor up here. All of this part down here is the first floor. I wanted the first floor to have high ceilings so that a lot of light could come in and it makes it real easy to play with on the other side, on the back, which I will be showing you. So as you can see here, Here's the door, right here. Got the little door there. And then I went ahead and added these small little colored pieces here to kind of break the patterns and give it a little bit of a pretty color design. And on the second floor, I went ahead, all of these were windows, and I went ahead and added these open little vent windows on each side. The bedrooms are up here so that the girls can get a lot of fresh air. So it's my lovely little sorority house. Here's the bike. Uh, for This is Luki's bike. She's got a motor scooter that she uses to go to the store to buy fruits and veggies for the girls. And this is the garden in the front of the house. And this is Lily. And she is one of the sorority sisters and she's a gardener so she likes to keep the garden going quite beautifully. So let's move in a little closer so we can see. Okay, so here we can see Lily and she's working on her garden. And she's got all these pretty little flowers happening there. All the different colors. She likes to use a bunch of different kinds of colors on her garden. And she went ahead and did all the garden to the front uh, yard of the house, the front space. And here we have a little space here for the bike, for the scooter, as you can see. We have tiles here. I put some tiles there so that the scooter can go safely there and can be parked. And then the windows, as you can see, I went ahead and used, I really love using the colored glass effect that these give, the blue one. And then I have some green tiles that I put here to give it a little bit of a um, a design and then here I have like this little red line going up through here which I really like the way that came out and uh, on the other side it's the same thing a lot of windows okay and then there's the second floor and there's one bedroom there and then there's a little hallway in between the bedrooms and some indoor plants as you can see and um, there's a table there with drawers and things that the girls can put their beauty things away. And here's the other bedroom, and there's some verandas there. Okay. And then on the top, we have two terraces. In the first terrace, you can see our two cats. There's Sombrita on the table. That's Little Shadow in Spanish. And here we have Gray. There's Gray. He likes to climb up on the highest places of the house. He's a very daring little kitty. But they like to hang out together and play. But really what that is, you can see there's a table and a bench and a small umbrella for the girls to hang out when they feel like going up there and reading and studying. 
for their classes. And on the other side of the veranda, we also have a little space for the girls to hang out. And that's Grace right there. Grace is Lily's sister. Lily is the lady down there in the garden. There she is. Ooh. Hi, Lily. How are you? There's Lily. Oh, she's busy. I think she's waiting for the car to come in with the groceries. Okay, and they're sisters. But um, Grace is a little bit of a rare bird. You notice how she's got those long ears? And honestly, she thinks she's a human, and we don't tell her that she's not, but I think she's an elf. And she likes to uh, fly around with this Pegasus back here. Beautiful Pegasus. It's her pet horse. And we're very proud of her because she has a Pegasus. Okay, there's Nancy, one of the sorority girls. And um, you can see here that this is the side of one of the sides of the house. And here's the bottom part of the house. And again, there's you see more window features and different colors that I've combined there. Now this is this room here is the kitchen and as you can see it's pretty small and the reason why it's so small is because I ran out of Legos I would have liked to have made the kitchen bigger I think that would have been nice so maybe in my next house project I'll be able to add a bigger kitchen but I really had a lot of fun doing this, these walls on the sides with the windows it was so much fun and then here, this is the courtyard, and we'll be talking about that in a little bit. And I didn't really want to put like a wall. I wanted to kind of break it out a little bit so it would look pretty nice. So I came up with these bamboo designs. These are bamboo, and they're flowering. And so they kind of create a space, a dividing space for the fence. And then I went ahead and played with these little Lego blocks here to create this space here and all of these little clear pieces are lights supposedly that go on at night to light up a little bit. Here's another light. And then we're going to move on to the back. Okay, the back of the house is the most exciting part of the house um, because it has this lovely fence that I designed. I had so much fun doing that. And again, here's another little garden that Lily has been working on. And there's these features here that also help close off the garden. And I thought that was a nice thing to do. And the same thing on the other side. And lots of flowers. And here you can see the tiles on the top here that I put here. The same thing on the other side, see right there. Okay, and then if you peek over the fence, you can see the courtyard. It's a nice big courtyard, and I had a lot of fun doing that also. So let's move in a little closer in the courtyard now. If you look down there, you can see there's the swimming pool, and there's a couple of my sorority sisters. But let's look inside the house, because from here you can look inside the house. And inside the bedroom, there are two bedrooms. One bedroom there. And then there's another bedroom on the other side. And it has these archways and this open space to let fresh air in. Okay, and there's, uh, there's Lulu with her dog Pixie. With her poodle Pixie. And again, these features that you see here, those are also night lights, little night lights. So let's see if we can get up. There's one of the bedrooms. Really nice little bed there. Okay. And here on the other side, there's the other bedroom. And downstairs, you can see how high those ceilings are. It really gives you a feeling of a large space. And there's one of the family rooms areas to 
to hang out during the day and at night those purple pouches turn into bed night bed so there's plenty of room for everybody and then here's the entrance and at the top you see if we can get in there if we get inside the main entrance here there's the entrance right there if you look up See if I can get it in there. Right there. There's the chandelier. Let's see here. Oh, it's not coming up. There it is. If you look up, there's the chandelier. And that's the chandelier from the Lagos Hotel. And um, I don't have the piano. I went ahead and lent, let my son borrow the piano, the piano for one of his Lego sets. But there's the, um, the hallway, and that's the door from the outside. And there's Cherie, and she's in the other living space. And those chairs, that couch and that chair, they both turn into bed also. So there's plenty of room. All right, and on this side of the courtyard over here, okay, if you look in there, that's the kitchen, and I would have liked to have made this room a little bigger. There's the door. You can open the door. Look inside. See, there's just this oven and the stove and a sink. And that's just, that's all I was able to do with the kitchen. I would have liked to have extended it out more this way. You know, made a, a longer extension. That would have been nice. But there's the, there's the kitchen, and here's a little space in the garden for the girls to hang out, and there's some fruit there on the, there, there's like a little buffet happening there. You can see some, a croissant and a few other nice little munchies to eat. Okay, and, um, all right, and there's a little lounge, a lounge, a pool lounge chair. And here are a couple of the sorority sisters, and there's the pool. Oh, and that's right, and there's our seal pet. And these little clear pieces that you see there, uh, this one, that's a, that's a nightlight. Okay. So let's look at the other side. Let's look at the other side of the garden. So on the other side, we have a beautiful fountain. Got those lovely tiles around it, and there's the bathroom. Okay, Veronica's coming out of the bathroom. That's our bathroom, and there's a little table there with flowers and a place to put drinks if you want. And that is the patio to my beautiful sorority house. And then we have the other side of the house. And here again, we have the same kind of fencing, except this is a different kind of a bamboo plant that I made, different from the one over there on the other side. This one's mostly golden, and it's got these pink, beautiful little flowers, and it's perfect for fencing. And then I have these beautiful little night lamps to give some light at night. Here's another little light, night light, this one up here. That's right there, another little light. Okay. And this whole wall, I had so much fun building these walls. These were really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed combining the different colored bricks to give it kind of like a modern look. It's really quite lovely. And I did the windows really small on the wall so that the girls could have their privacy. And there's our bike. There you go. It takes us back to the front of Luki's Lego house design with the sorority house, house design number one. Thanks for watching and I will see you again for my next house design. Bye bye everybody and have fun playing Legos.